You can't be living this mediocre life of putting in half effort where you are now, even if you hate it. Like even if you hate your job 100%, I promise you, you'll mm. find a better one and you'll find the one that was meant for you if you excel in what you hate <laughs> rather than yeah. rather than so many people that just say, oh, well, you know, once the greatest opportunity arises or once I figure out what I was meant to do or once this opportunity of a lifetime comes, then I'll go all in. Yeah, I, yeah. That's, and that's what I was doing. I was just waiting and looking, but I wasn't going all in on where I was currently. And so that's the, that's the biggest piece of advice that I, that I would give is that opportunities will arise when you're excelling where you're at. And, yeah. and if you become the absolute best in what you're currently doing, that's when those other opportunities from relationships or people hearing about you or people just seeing you in action and saying, man, there's something different about that guy. Like, you know, he may not like what he's doing, but like he shows up and he just absolutely gets after it. And then that'll come up in a random conversation. Then you'll have these things that just all of a sudden start happening. Um, a lot of people call that the law of attraction. That's what I would refer to it as, but it's just, it's all based on your intent. Like if you're going 100% all in just hard at what you're currently doing, even if what you're currently doing is something that you hate, it will always bring about something that will lead to the next big thing. And again, it was just this law of attraction. Like I talked about 50 policies all week, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50. And it gets to the point where like, I'll have people on my Facebook lives commenting like, hey, where are you at towards your goal uh, of hitting 50 policies? It's like all of this positive energy going at this one number that I've said over and over and over. And I cannot tell you how many times I've been driving home on my last day. And I'm like, hey, my goal was 50, hit 50. My goal was 100, I hit 101. It's like always right at it, which always kind of makes me think like, well, what if I would have said to this week 60? Would I hit 60? Probably. And that's just the way it works. So use these tools, not just as a way to, you know, boost your ego and put this information out there, but use it as an accountability tool. Like it will help you increase your productivity if you use it the right way. Law of attraction, like I keep talking about it, but it's so real. This law of attraction is just the only thing that matters. It's putting good stuff out, getting good stuff back, and uh, making an impact.